Dear students, welcome you all to today's video. Today we are going to solve some questions related to our yesterday's topic that is how to balance a chemical equation. I hope yesterday's topic was very clear to all of you. If not, please comment or send me your feedback. So today we are going to solve a question. The question is how to balance Aluminium hydroxide plus sodium nitrate gives aluminium nitrate plus sodium hydroxide. This is a question which I have given as a homework. Aluminium hydroxide plus sodium nitrate gives aluminium nitrate plus sodium hydroxide. So we will balance this by heat and trial method. As you know that in heat and trial method, we have to check by different trails and then only we will reach to the final answer. So what is the first thing we have to do? We have to convert this word equation into a aluminium hydroxide we can write as ALOH thrice plus NaNO3 for sodium nitrate gives aluminium nitrate that is ALNO3 thrice plus sodium hydroxide that is NaOH and we know that what do we have to do first? We have to make the tabulation column. So, let us make a tabulation column for this equation. We know that we can make the tabulation column by mentioning all the elements and the number of those elements present in the left hand side as well as right hand side. That means in reactant side as well as in the product side. So let us mention the elements present in this question. So the, these are the elements. Aluminium, oxygen, hydrogen, sodium and nitrogen are the elements present in this equation. So all students may have a doubt whether this considered as a single one. No. In chemistry we call it as a parenthesis this bracket and inside the parenthesis we have in this question we have two elements that is oxygen and hydrogen and here we have nitrogen and oxygen and if any number is there outside the parenthesis that means that number is applicable for both the elements present inside the parenthesis is it clear okay let us proceed so how many aluminium are there in LHS we have one and is also 1. And now, now oxygen. We have 3 plus 3. 6 oxygen atoms here. And here 9 plus 1. 10 oxygen atoms. Hydrogen. We have 3 in the Arnotus side. LHS side. And we have 1 in the Arnotus side. Sodium. We have 1 in LHS. And 1 in RHS. And nitrogen, 1 in LHS and 3 in RHS side. Is it clear? Now, from this tabulation column, it is clear that oxygen, hydrogen and sodium, sorry, nitrogen are not balanced. We have only two balanced elements, aluminium as well as sodium. Now, we will try to balance either hydrogen or nitrogen. We know that to balance hydrogen, what do we have to do? We have to multiply a coefficient 3 on the RHS side, then only it will get balanced. So, so let us multiply will become ALOH thrice plus NaNO3 gives ALNO3 thrice plus 3 NaOH. You have to remember 
we have to multiply 3 in front of the compound NaOH. Now, this is our unbalanced equation. Let us make a tabulation column based on this equation. Then we get a tabulation column like this, where we have element LHS as well as RHS side. Aluminium, oxygen, hydrogen, sodium, nitrogen. Now, aluminium is 1 as it is. Oxygen is 3 plus 3, 6 only here in the LHS side. There is no change. But in RHS, it is 9 plus 3. As we know, if you multiply a coefficient just before the uh, formula of a compound, it will be applicable for all the elements present in the formula. You have to remember it. Okay. So, 3 plus 9, 12. And hydrogen, we have 3 here in LHS. And there also it will become 3. Sodium, we have 1. And there it will become 3. Nitrogen is 1. And there we have 3 nitrogen. So, from this... Aluminium and hydrogen is balanced. Again, oxygen, sodium and nitrogen are not balanced. We know to balance sodium, in simple way, we have to multiply 3 here. So, along with that, one more benefit we get that if you multiply 3 along with sodium, nitrogen will also get balanced. So, let us multiply 3 on the LHS side. We have Just this equation. ALOH thrice plus 3NaNO3 gives ALNO3 thrice plus 3NaOH. This is our new equation. Let us see the number of elements of atoms in this equation. Aluminium. Oxygen, Hydrogen, Sodium, Nitrogen. Aluminium is 1 each. Oxygen is 3 plus 9. It is 12. Here, 9 plus 3, 12. Hydrogen is 3. And in RHS side also it is 3. Sodium is 3 now. And in RHS side also it is 3. Nitrogen is 3 here. And in RHS side also, it is 3. Since all the number of atoms of all elements are equal in reactant side as well as product side, we can call this as a balanced equation. I hope this is clear to all of you. Thank you for watching. Comment if you have any doubt.